All right, what are you doing? Um, well, I'm trying to clean up my plant area. I don't have a lot of natural light in the house, so everything, all my house plants kind of go in front of these windows. And I had them just sitting here on the floor, but I'm trying to clean that up because we're going to look at a puppy tomorrow. So we're trying to clean everything up and puppy proof the house. So you gotta get these plants off of the floor and hopefully <laughs> we won't have any problems. Sick puppy. So I have this little bench that I've put plants on here before. I just have so many that they're not all going to fit. So I'm trying to figure out how am I gonna make this work? I might need a big strong boy to help me with that. It's very heavy. So just trying to get things up off of the floor and get ready to invite a new member of our family, hopefully. We are on the road. Yay. We've got some happy children. And parents, we're excited too. This was your idea. It was a group idea. It was a group idea. I was the last one to get on board, but now I'm finally really excited. Anyway, um, we have a journey. We have about three hours to go get this puppy, but we don't have any puppy uh, supplies. supplies. Sundries. I was going to say paraphernalia. Puppy paraphernalia. That sounds like a pet boutique. <laughs> so, we're stopping off. Uh, to at least get some essentials like a collar and a leash so that we can let the puppy in case we buy it the puppy out on the way home I think we're gonna buy it but let's go head into Walmart and see what we can find Just getting something practical and smart. Right. They're both two dollars. No. Not that. No. <laughs> All right. Are these colors okay? Okay. We've been in the car for two hours. What does that look? I don't know. I feel like we should be there by now. Yeah. We don't travel well. We don't travel well, but it literally just feels like the longest car ride ever. It's probably because we're so excited. Yeah. I mean, last night was miserable for me. Yeah, we couldn't sleep last night. I think too it's taking us like the most roundabout way so it's been a lot of like twisting and turning and we haven't been on a road for more than a few miles. I'm getting a little car sick. I guess I'm a bad driver. No it's just it's just a really windy route but one hour to go. I hope you're worth it puppy. <laughs> It'd be awful if we end up not getting it. Yeah that would be disappointing. Thinking ahead, the gentleman wanted us to come at noon, so we packed our lunch. So we've got about half an hour left. So we're eating in the car. Very good. Packed some hoagies, that way we don't have to stop. We'll probably stop to let the puppy go potty, but we didn't want to have to try to figure out a food situation. So, great guys. Stick. Uh, just slam on the brakes. Oh man, that is 
rough. It's 17 degrees out right now. Oh. There's snow drifts like flying across the road and homie's got a scooter and a hockey stick. He's probably just excited he doesn't have to work. He gets to go play True. hockey today. We're going down the lane. It's happening. We're almost there. What if the snow was too deep and we had to turn back? Uh, that would be so get, disappointing. Someone would be a little angry. siblings and his mom so and it doesn't help that it is so cold out with the wind chill it's four degrees today so we're not sure if he's shaken from nerves or if he's cold but we tried to walk him around a little bit before we took him in the car but it's hard to stay out very long so he's so sweet definitely His hair looks a lot like the wind sock. Yeah, it does. <laughs> remember is getting acclimated. How are you guys? <laughs> Good. You're great. He's great. Woo. Bob. Keeping him on the leash so he doesn't uh -huh. go everywhere. He's brushed and bathed, huh? Yeah, he does. A little smelly. Puppy smell, but he's pretty good. Cozy. He was so good on the way home. I yeah, can't. Yeah, three hour car ride. I can't believe how good you did. He did not have any problems. You're such a good boy. I think you so guys good. are pretty good friends now, aren't you? Uh -huh. You <laughs> slept much, on my lap for pretty half much an hour. the whole way. You too, a little bit. Mm hmm. Show me who are these weird people. Get that thing out of my face. Did we tell him the name? No. This him. is Jasper. This is Jasper. Did mm -hmm. you tell him what he is? He is a little tiny bit of Australian Shepherd, but mostly a miniature Schnauzer. Aren't you? Isn't you the cutest thing? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Alright, we'll get him all settled in and check back in more. I did want to show you guys, this is my windsock. <laughs> Hold that by him. Stay down. Kind of looks similar, doesn't it? A little bit. He likes you right now. He likes your coat. Yeah, I was cold when we got home, <laughs> so I put that on. Alright, we'll check back in. He can't really walk away now. I can't stand and not be part of it. Yeah. How's he's, it going? He doesn't, he, I mean, he's not freaking out, but I can tell he's stressed. Aww. He's being good. He's just, Aww. just kind of 
chilling. He's not shaking or whining or anything. Good. I haven't given the dog a bath in a very long yeah. time. Yeah. Kind of hard to see, but. Um, I'm expecting a shake at any moment. Probably. Good boy. Somebody's getting spoiled. We both had a big day. Is he? There's eyes closed. In your arms. I'm a good petter. <laughs> he feels like dead weight. All four pounds of it. His little nose keeps on twitching. It's I think that's going to be it for us, guys. It was a big day. We're tired. I'm ready to pass out, too. So, that's our exciting news. Welcome, Jasper. We got a dog. <laughs>